we will start with our very AYV uh, newspaper, which is uh, sold at 2,000 leons, and you can grab a copy of it. And on its front page, uh, it reads, uh, Sierra Leone sets for Arise IPP's passenger trains. And also, Foreign Affairs Minister assures Chief Minister of Meaningful Foreign Policy. And there is a picture of the Chief Minister, uh, the Foreign Minister also, and the uh, person who is uh, uh, taking care of the Foreign Ministry Academy. And also, there is a picture of a rail track by I, I, uh, Arise IIP, and also telecommunication sector to normalize tariff. So those were the headlines on the AYV uh, front page. Away from the AYV front page, uh, we go to the exclusive newspaper. And the leading story on its front page is Samura Kamara throws bombshell. And a picture of <coughs> Samura Kamara is on that front page. And another story that BU's government is, uh, okay, that's a continuation of what uh, extracted from Samura Kamara's speech. And arise IPP to bring seven passenger rail cars. At the United Nations General Assembly, Guinea military leader thrills world leaders. So that's all for the exclusive newspaper. And away from the exclusive newspaper, we have the political newspaper, and on its front page, uh, the leading story is Samura Kamara urges APC MPs to stay out, and also LAJ champions Kush campaign from prison, and court uh, passes judgment on EBK Samura appeals, uh, record passes on WAS. Away from the um, political newspaper, we go to the Calabash newspaper. And on its front page, Arise IIP secures seven passenger rail cars uh, expected at Freetown Port on October 26. And APC Samura Kamara's statement re echoes initial party claims. Mano River Union unveils 50th anniversary. Uh, celebration and uh, 10,000 US dollars lease agreement signed for orphanage in Connor District. Uh, away from the Calabash newspaper, we go to the Independent Observer newspaper. And on its front page, ahead of political mediation, Samura Kamara talks tough and government faces scrutiny over railway and port lease. And away from the Independent Observer newspaper, we go to uh, the C4D media newspaper. On its uh, front pages, EDSA terrible tariff uh, worsens financial burden and cost of living on struggling urban households and Nazi to launch Sewer Grounds market in three months. That's all for the C4D media uh, newspaper. And away from that, we have the Global Times newspaper. On its front page, uh, President Bill receives 100 million US dollars loan and uh, railway to return. IJ Kabab becomes presidential advisor and UDAF host Tanzania counterparts and 25 police personnel leave for China. Away from the Global Times newspaper, we go to the Awoko newspaper. On its front page, it says the finance ministry announces dates for 2024 budget discussions. Uh, President Biu secures 100 million US dollars loan to fund education for 1,000 Sierra Leonean graduates. And Samura Kamara emphasizes importance of dialogue to uncover truth. And uh, away from the Awoko newspaper, we go to the Standard Times newspaper. 
24 June elections, uh, blatant electoral coup, and SLCB turns golden mine, fraud stars get a field day. And away from the Standard Times newspaper, we go to the last newspaper for today, which is the Concord Times uh, newspaper. And on its uh, front page, death sentence for Sierra Leoneans. And Samura Kamara tells supporters, I will never betray, I will never ever betray my people and best teachers to receive presidential award tomorrow. And Health Network, SL calls for ban on Kush. So those were the uh, front pages of our local news tabloids. And to help me discuss some of the issues on these front pages, I have uh, Fudi Moriba Conte, who is a journalist who is here with me on, as the guest. Uh, good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank, Thank you very much for having me. Okay. And I also have on the panel a social analyst uh, who was normally, usually comes here as a civil society activist, but today uh, he is a social analyst. Uh, who is no less a person, but uh, um, Sano, welcome to front page. Thank you very much. Okay. So, and one of the leading stories on the local tabloids here is the speech of uh, the 2023 APC uh, flag bearer, presidential flag bearer, who is Dr. Samura Kamara. And I know... Uh, maybe we follow up with the, the, the press conference yesterday at the party's uh, headquarters. So I would love to start with uh, uh, Sano. So what's, what do you make up of his statements <laughs> or address, so to speak? Um, for me, he, he gave a speech, and I think that speech was for his party people and people who trust in him. So um, that was a speech that he did. But when you look at the speech, you critically analyze what he was saying. The speech is, it, I begin to compare when Pakaba wanted to dialogue with Foden Sanko. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Foden Sanko then uses such words. Eh? Mm -hmm. Then I'll ask myself, will that peace would have hold that dialogue? Words like what? Yeah. Um, firstly, you're going on peace. This country is governed by our 1991 constitution. Mm -hmm. This country tells us our supremacy comes from that constitution, our sovereignty comes from that constitution, and it tells us the process of conducting an elections. And it also instructs us in the process that you are not pleased what and what you should do. And if you sit down and you do not do anything, you do not go to the court, which is the highest um, um, uh, body for in terms of um, uh, getting justice, and then you leave it like that, believe you me, and then the man is sworn in as a president, there is no need, you say, it is not your president. But having said that, let me look at the speech from the angle. Mm -hmm. For me, I think... Samura Kamara was not sincere, he was not honest, and I did not see patriotism and love for the country and the people. Why is that? And I, and I also see selfishness in what he said. Mm -hmm. The reasons are clear. Number one, um, when you are a leader, you should be careful of what you do, what you say, mm -hmm at all time. Now, we have an issue with the elections that everybody was singing. Some say the election was not free and fair. Others say the election was free and fair, including ourselves. When I was in civil society by then, we monitored these elections. Now, if it is not free and fair, you know the law. You are, he's, he, he has worked in Syria for over 40 years. You know the processes. 
this is the same uh, law and processes that we are used during the day of Samility. Why did you fail to go that path? Instead, because of you alone, you understand, eh? Mm -hmm. I, I, I was asking myself, if Samura would have won the election and the MPs lose, lose the election, would have, will he have told them, don't go to, 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 to parliament? Believe you me, because he did not win the elections. And then, so what he did, he said, let them don't go. So my issue here with, when people begin to say, ah, this election was not free, was not fair, I have issue with it because I was in the middle of these elections. I, I participated. I, my effort, I spent sleepless nights. My team and I spent sleepless nights in ensuring we monitor it. So then I said to myself, somebody told me, say, we want the aggregated data. I said, for God's sake, why do people keep sending information, wrong information out? My dear brother, the whole thing about this election that happened, you understand? Uh, both political parties said they are going to win, and they went into a contest. After that, they sent representatives. Those two parties were the only people that were present all over the places. So in your opinion, it was free It was fair. free fair. So now, they have the IRF forms. That form alone is sufficient. There was a day I told them, if you really genuinely know that you won the elections, right? It is simple. I recall all media houses. I find a big hall, show from every, the, over 11,000 polling stations, my RRF forms to ascertain who add it there so that the international world will know. But look at it, you, you know, what they are doing, they are doing as, he, as they did during the elections. When they gave them the data, and uh, Richard Conte said, we have not received it. And later, a day, two days for the election, he said, we've got it, here's the data. The data was there in his hand. I was part of it, I'm part of the committee. So what is, is that? The data, the result, aggregated data, everything is in your hand. You have your form. What is the issue? So what they want to do, they want to shift the mind of their supporters and other well-meaning Sierra Leonean to ECSL, that ECSL have the data. They have the raw data. They were given copy from each polling station, for God's sake. Why can't you just call? APC is a big party. But to go on a public forum and begin to say, they, uh, you won the election, the election was real. Come on, it is a disservice, it is insincerity, and uh, it shows that you don't love the country. Look okay, at so what you I'm do. I'm going to come back to you. Let me just, because uh, let me hear from uh, Fode. What's your, what do you make up of the uh, pre, uh, uh, Dr. Samura Kamara's uh, address yesterday at the uh, APC headquarters? Yes, uh, I think um, it was a long 11-page um, speech that was delivered by um, Dr. Samuel Kama yesterday during a press conference held at their party office on the, in Freetown. And when you look at the press release, uh, the press statement, it, there are a lot of concerns being still uh, put forward by the party. And these concerns, some of them are not new. The party, in their previous engagement or previous um, press releases, have also been calling on the government and calling on stakeholders to those concerns. And um, some of those concerns are um, the um, data, the disaggregated voter, um, to be published by police station. And this call was not only done by the APC party, but this has also been the call by international observers, including the Qatar Center, who I believe were the first institution or election observer nation to actually call on the ECSL to publish the um, voter uh, 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 by, by polling stations. And also, we've also seen other um, international observers has also followed suit to ensure that they actually call for the ECSL to publish those uh, uh, the votes by polling station. So I think uh, the, 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 the flag bearer of the APC also uh, made a call, and they also spoke about uh, the integrity of the transparency of the elections, mm -hmm. and which we all know is not new. Even um, as we speak, we know that um, the um, U.S. State uh, Department has also 
question the credibility of the elections and the Qatar Center question the credibility of the elections, the EU e election observer mission, they also follow suit, you know, in questioning the credibility of the, e e e the June 24, 2023 elections. So I think um, what, what we are seeing moving forward is um, how can government able to uh, look at some of the concerns raised by the, the APC? And most of the cases I say, yes, we are not uh, saying that all what the APC are calling for uh, um, um, should be done by government. But what we are saying, if there is a legitimate call by the APC, if those calls that the APC are, are, are saying, the, the, the things they are demanding, if some of them are legitimate, then government should not turn the deaf ears to them, but rather government should actually look at those concerns and see how can we address those concerns going forward. And this particular uh, address yesterday came uh, uh, as a result of the uh, um, dialogue we are all anticipating between the government of Sierra Leone and that of the APC party. And this dialogue has long overdue because there have been a lot of effort, a lot of call for this particular dialogue. We've seen we had the Interviews Council, they've engaged the APC party, they've engaged government on how they can ensure that this particular dialogue holds. Mm -hmm. We've seen we are international bodies like the, the EU, like the ECOWAS, all of them, they are here. They've held preliminary uh, engagement with government and also the APC in ensuring that we have this particular dialogue. And so this particular call yesterday was uh, uh, in a wake-up call of the dialogue that, yes, even though as we anticipate, as we go into the dialogue, but as a party, we still have these concerns. We still do those things, uh, 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 we still have them in, in our mind, that government should ensure how government can look onto this particular thing. And um, Salon was like to um, uh, make, make mention of about the APC party not going to court after the end of the elections. Uh, this morning I was listening to the National Publicity Secretary of the APC party, Honorable Chinis, and uh, in his interview this morning on uh, um, in the democracy at this point one, he said that uh, he, the, the, the presenter um, uh, um, uh, asked the question to him that why the APC uh, um, didn't go to court after they, 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 lost, they lose the election. As per our constitution, you have seven days. If you are not satisfied with the results, you have seven days to actually go to court and seek redress. But according to the party, they said the ECSL published the, 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 uh, the result announced on their website. And just a few days after that particular pronouncement, the, uh, the, the, the particular data was no longer available in the website. So how can you go to court? You don't have something that you are going to put before the court to say, this is what is, uh, this is the result that, that has been called by the CSN, and we are not satisfied with this particular result. So according to the party, they said they have nothing to show to the court to say, this is why, this is why we, we are coming to court. But for, for them, they said they have their evidence. They have all the RFA forms that we have collected across the country. They, 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 they are claiming that they have it. But they said they did not go to court because the particular uh, um, 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 uh, result that was pronounced by the ECSL is no longer available at the website of the ECSL, which they can hold as an evidence to actually take the matter to court. So here comes the question again. We, we know that we have the, 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 the law here, which we call a right to access information, okay? okay? And it, 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 it behoves the ECSL to actually make those vital information available to the public. So I see no reason for it to be published on that website and just a few days, uh, uh, the, the particular uh, data was actually uh, 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 um, 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 deleted from their website. Okay. So it also yeah. gives them to, for them to ensure that they actually looked at their mandate and say, if we have a mandate to ensure that we make information available to the public, then there was no reason for, for, for that. But if the ECSM believes that the particular data is available in the, in the website, then let them come and challenge to say, okay. yes, we have this particular information in our website. You can go and the particular uh, uh, results that was pronounced by the, by the Chief Electoral Commissioner, they are available in the website. Okay, okay. so um, I'm coming back to you. Uh, with the, the dialogue that is about to hold and, and yesterday's uh, address by Dr. Samura Kamara, I think that the dialogue was something that was discussed between him and President Julius Madabio. Uh, and he is still as a party, and they are still holding on to the view that uh, President Julius Madabio's administration is illegitimate, and they will continue to hold on to that stance. So what, where do you see the progress of the dialogue with all what uh, the flag bearer, the 2023 flag bearer of the All People's Congress Party uh, said yesterday. The call has been for us to have a sincere dialogue. And we can have a dialogue, but if the dialogue is not sincere, if the dialogue is not trustworthy, we still have 
those issues, the, 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 it's not really a dividend. So what we are saying, in as much as all of us are anticipating the dialogue, and I, I'll tell you, you and I sitting here, we, 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 we will not pray for our country not to, to, to be united. We will not pray for what is happening currently, the, the political impasse to continue in our country. What we are praying for is for us to have a unified Sierra Leone, a Sierra Leone that all of us can come together to work towards the development of the nation because government on its own cannot do it alone. But government needs other sectors, government needs even the opposition for them to ensure that they push their agenda forward. So that is to say that the dialogue that um, government is anticipating, there has been a call that let the dialogue be, be fair. And for what uh, Dr. Samoa Kamara is saying about the, the party still maintaining its stance, well, I'll tell you, if there is a sincere dialogue, I'll tell you, they will forgo those uh, uh, stance that they are saying that uh, even uh, 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 um, um, calling their, their, their members of parliament to participate. Because even when the, His Excellency the President met with the, the, the Commonwealth, one of the things he said, he, he made an open call to the APC, that I'm inviting them for us to come and walk. Let them allow their members of parliament, their mayors, their councillors, let them come and participate in governance. And that is very key. That is very important. It means that the president uh, uh, did not overemphasize the importance of the opposition in moving the country forward. Okay. So that is to say that in as much as we anticipate this particular dialogue, I believe if there is a sincere dialogue, okay, if, 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 if the government tries to ensure and uh, look at the concerns of the APC, look at the concerns of the opposition and find a way on how to solve those concerns, I know that some of the concerns might be difficult. Mm -hmm. But if some of their demands are not met, there is also a way that you can dialogue to say, Yes, this is for the betterment of our country. These demands, we cannot meet these demands as the government. Well, we, let us go back to Dreamboard and see how can we be able to ensure that we, we, we have a, an agreement on how we can we can be able to, to address those concerns. All right. and, 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 and I think that is something that is very important. But I think the dialogue is very important. And we are even urging the APC to ensure that let them go for the dialogue, let them ensure that at the end we want to have the outcome of the dialogue where the members of parliament, their councillors, okay. their mayors can participate in governance. In governance. Okay. okay. And Joseph Sano, you were saying uh, because you participated in the electioneering process and that uh, in your view uh, it was free, fair and credible. And uh, Fodi was just saying that a lot of concerns have been raised uh, by the All People's Congress Party, and according to him, some genuine concerns uh, that are in line with what the international community has already raised. That and they still stand on what the claims that they they raised uh, since the results were announced. So, what's your take on that? Um, let me be frank. Um, there was a regime change campaign. I am well informed about that. You know, I was fired from Natcom, and uh, there was something. So the regime change campaign approached me. It was just that some of us do not bow down to little things. I've seen money. Because I, not only now, even before, I've seen money. So I saw what money and what, but I asked myself, is this real? So when we were talking all these things, I know about it. Number one. The cutter said, if I would have wanted, eh, if I was not a greedy person, if I hate this country, I would have accepted the regime change. Of course, you know, I'm a, I, can, I, can, I can advocate. Of course, you know, I'll go anywhere. So I would have joined Marcella, EU, Qatar Center to have a regime change agenda. Now, let me say this to so, you. So oh, before, you, before you continue, mm -hmm. so you are saying uh, the concerns of people like Marcella, uh, it was a regime change. And, uh, and EU, yeah. the, 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 the US, and all other international that was a regime communities. Change. So their concerns were in okay, genuine. Let me Is that what you're saying? Their concerns were, we are not, we are not genuine concerns. I can tell you this. Okay. Because uh, fortunately for me, I'm a, when I was fired, everybody think, ah, so no, this is an opportunity for us to get Sano on our side. Okay. But I am that type that do not look at the thing that happened to me. I look at the nation. Other than that, I should have been among people. Wait, I'm coming, please. I should have been Just among give people him time. Hmm? <laughs> to, to really re echo it. Let me first, Qatar Center did not have up to 15 people to monitor the entire election in Sierra Leone. I have been up University FBC for the past three years. I was not at Hills Sierra Leone. Somebody else was helping me with Hills Sierra Leone. Let me tell you what happened. 
Kata Center went to me. They sought for me in this city. And they went to, to me up uh, 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 FBC. I was at, uh, at, 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 at Davis Nicol. We had a meeting in, at Davis Nicol Hall. And I still have, and there are witnesses of that meeting. Mm -hmm. And I know what we discussed. You understand? So when I'm talking, I'm not talking about what people tell me. I'm talking about what I know. The second thing, you understand? People should understand this, that we have, like for instance, what Marcella did, you understand it? Could have run this country into chaos because you are not the electoral commissioner. You, when they gave us observer status, you just go and observe and write your report and send it to ECSM. Now, but what, that's something they've been doing in yeah, previous years. What they do, did was that they prevent and caught, in fact, there was word blocks. But let me come to something. Simple. Okay, let's cut this thing short. When I listen to my brother, so for Kata Center, they are not even credible. We saw when they said, when Samuel and Seth said, uh, he went and sought money for them, and there was money for, for runoff. So I will not talk about that. Let's come now to ECSL and the issue of, of, of the, 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 the data was not on the website. That is a sharp excuse by a big political party like APC. It's really, it will not hold in any court of law. Let me tell you this. Okay, they have, they place it on the website and they remove it. Fine, but I have my evidence. And the only place to go for regress in this country, we will not go to ECOWAS, we will not go to American court, it is our own court. But the APC uh, is claiming that they don't trust the court system. Okay. That's why they did They don't court. trust the court system. This is the same court system that, that, that removed the former vice president from office. This is the same court system that we have been used before. Let me tell you, as bad as you may see our court system, mm. other countries are coming to have best practice from Syria. Leone. Let me tell you, my child is my child. I will not abandon my child for anything. If there is a problem, I will develop my child. That excuse uh, Yaya Tunis was given, it is just null and void. Our constitution is the ground law, it is the supreme law. In fact, what I see from there, what I see from Samura and the, those that are talking, I think I see they are just near, they just want to cause trouble. Near troublemakers, near blackmailers, they want to blackmail the entire electoral process and they discredit our, our our institutions, and then they are against law and order. If they were for law and order, they should have respected the court. This same court, Papa Sheki used it. This same police, Papa Sheki used it. This same uh, uh, lawyers, they use it, right? And now the same people you are condemning. So what is good for the good is not good for the bad. This is un unnecessary. Okay, Apart so from law and order, I want to say this: they are even against development and peaceful coexistence. Okay. So and you were you you said uh, the concerns of Masala EU. Kata Center is just like a uh, regime change yeah, something. It was, so, so why didn't you uh, start fighting then when they approached you? Let me tell you, I've been fighting for long. I've been always fighting. Let me tell you, when they... So did you make it public? I, you can go. I have... I, you know, let me tell you. I, when I want to fight, I fight full. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't fight in the corner. I have started this thing. I have a catalog of what I've done. Okay. Right? So when I'm talking, I'm not talking because I want to talk. Specifically what? on the approach by the Carter Center. Yeah, but I, if, if they are watching, they will know that. They know me. We sat together, and I can bite you. Mm -hmm. They have not produced their report to ECSL, nor did they, I can bite you. They don't have up to 15 staff they said. Let me tell you. Can 15 staff give results for over 11,000 polling stations? No, that's left for the public. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not, asking. I'm not so public, now, so. now, let me tell you what, right. what happened. Um, for instance, let's be frank. If we really want peace, let me conclude in this. In 2007, over 400 polling stations were cancelled in, 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 in Kailau. The former vice president, right, was there and then the Anas by Koma because of that cancellation Anas by Koma won but because the man wants peace because they want one development and national cohesion he swallowed his pride and then accepted right that is it some went to court 
as, as long, in fact, it was APC that was also controlling the court. But they still went to court in respect for law and order. Okay. In 2012, let me tell you some secret. And okay, if at that, that time, the yeah, and if at that in 2007, uh, Christian had top never had the mandate, and he gave a, a sarcastic statement: "You go to court, go to police." In 2012, I was around my team. We were all at polling stations. We were counting when Christian had top called the election that Anes by Kroma have won the election. As you may know, the former government was in charge of the, 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 the judiciary, anti-corruption, every area. But yes, the President Bio now did not say, I will not, the SFPP did not say, I will not go to court. Did not say, did not support people hmm, to be rioting, to be causing care and mayhem, to be insulting people in what to the extent that in fact, in his own hometown, Bo, he was wounded there. Right? That was a recipe for war or chaos. But still, he went humbly. So what I'm trying to say, let people look at the precedent. Um, um, Samuel Kamal have said what he want to see. But for me, they failed to go to court, and JFK raised that issue, and they did not listen to it. Instead, okay. Apart from that, they showed by nowadays that, okay, for the sake of peace, Let's be another solo be. Let's allow things. But let me tell you, in terms of the honorable that they are uh, uh, crying to, oh my God, some of us, this government will not like us. We will not bend our laws. Okay. So let's, let me hold it there and come back to, to Fode. You've uh, heard all the claims that uh, uh, Sano has made here and some of the precedents that uh, have been set over the years. So what's your take on that? You know, when we keep... Uh, saying we rely on precedent, saying because this thing was done five years ago, it should be done again today, then it means we are not ready for progress. We can only progress when we start doing the things that we want to do now to change what has happened in the past. We cannot continue to have a, a country we are in because once a government is in power, a government will start citing about instances that have occurred before. Let us have a president or a government that will come and say, regardless of what has happened, I am going to make a change. When this government, uh, 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 when they were campaigning in 2018, they said, a new direction. A new direction should not go back to the past. A new direction should be a direction that will actually forego what has happened in the past and start to lay new things. So, Sano is actually um, taking us to the past again to say, this has happened, it should happen again. It doesn't mean uh, uh, for example, I, I met my father as a drunkard, I should be a drunkard. No, okay, so in there, the... there should be a change to say, not because my father was doing this. Maybe he was doing this out of ignorance, or maybe he was doing it because of one or two. But I am a child, I will not come and follow the same footsteps of my father, but rather I will do, I, I, I'll come and make a change. Okay, do you so that agree, is what we are expecting. Do you agree with the stance by uh, APC that because they don't trust the court system and that uh, the whole election process, they... It is like you agree that they didn't go to court, take the matter to court. For that regards, most times what I continue to say, that when institutions that are supposed to be independent are not independent, mm -hmm. this is the result of what we are saying. Most times we, we, we keep telling our, 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 our stakeholders that leave those institutions that you know these institutions should be independent, let them be independent. But you see that most of the institutions now are actually, um, do you want to call, uh, 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 just a regime. Uh, they are supporting the, the, the government of the day. And that is not how it's supposed to be. So because of those things are happening currently, because we have our institutions that are supposed to be independent, like the judiciary, like the CLN police, like the ECSL, those institutions are supposed to be independent because they are not serving the government, but they are serving the people of this country. So because their independence has been questioned over the years, because of their activities, that is why we keep having issues like this. Okay, and, but, but and, this and, is, I, I, I'm, I'm coming, let me, this is yes. the same institution, I think, if I can remember, uh, like three APC uh, guns have won cases. One is uh, uh, a treason case and with this steel institution, the same institution, and you are claiming that they are not independent. I am not saying that they are not independent completely. What I'm saying is that they should be independent. 
And because of their non-independence, that is why the opposition is questioning them to say, we don't have confidence in them. So you we agree with and, the and, 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 and even, this is not even the stance, even the public. We, we all saw here before the elections, uh, um, the EU election, election election, as for one of the recommendations was that there was at least trust in certain institutions in this particular country. And the judicial was the APC. Okay, the okay, so the 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 okay, okay, was among them. Uh, the the time, CRM time, police time. was also among them. Mm. And the neck by then, which now ACSL, was also among the institutions that was named. And this was not from a political party, but this was from an independent institution. That is to tell you that when those institutions are supposed to be independent and independent, we keep people keep losing trust on them. And once they lose trust on them, if if, if I don't have trust and confidence in this particular thing, I will not go there. So okay. When you, so when that you is say, the thing we are saying. When you say so, the public, uh, 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 because uh, uh, the public is, yes. is, is a general term. Yes. Do you mean the APC supporters as the public or the Sierra Leone populace the as EU, in general? The, the EU election as our mission did not concentrate on the APC, but rather was the general public. It was a, a, it was a, a general public, and according to their report, they said that the public has lost trust in certain institutions in this country. Okay, because the reason and why the ECSL I'm was asking... among uh, uh, net by then now ECSL, the Pushan Police Judiciary. But uh, 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 let me just land on, on this issue. Okay. And for me, once I make when I like challenges, I like bringing recommendations or solutions to those problems. And we can never be able to address the issues of the independence of those institutions when the appointment of those leaders in those institutions are, are tied to the president. Okay? If I have the, the power now to call for anything, what I will call for is for the president, is, is for the, 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 the parliament of Sierra Leone to amend certain clauses in the constitution. And one of each is to remove the appointment of certain institutions in this country from the presidency to an independent body or parliament. And that is to say the, 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 the Sierra Leone police, the IG, for me, I want the, 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 the Department of Sierra to or the Government of Sierra for it to be removed that President will no longer appoint the IG, the Chief Justice of this particular country, mm -hmm. the, 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 the Commissioner, Electoral Commissioner for ECSL, some those of those key institutions that are very important towards the, 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 the peace and stability of the country, let the appointment of those boys be removed from the presidency okay, to actually here. have an independent body, or maybe we can say parliament will begin to appoint those institutions. Okay. Because if those appointments of those key institutions, the appointment comes from the president, there is high tendency for their, uh, 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 um, for them to be independent in carrying out their, their meeting. Because this is what we've been seeing. Even within the past government, we've been seeing all of those things. That once those people are appointed by the government, they actually want to uh, dance by the, uh, the, 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 the chain of the government. Okay. So if we move, we have an amendment of that clause in the constitution, where in the appointment of these individuals, will be removed from the presidency, I think we'll begin to speak uh, or, or begin to discuss about how those institutions can be dependent. Okay. So, and, 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 and before I, I, I wait, Salam made uh, um, several allegations about the, uh, there was a, a cartel of a regime change. And uh, I, I believe he is a, a season, uh, 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 he's a Cialonian, okay? And we, we should not be allowing those things to be switched under the carpet, okay? I, I, I'm calling on Salon if he has evidences of what he's saying. Let him come up with those evidences to say there was a regime change. Uh, there was a cartel. They, they met him for a regime change. Okay. You know, let's start to name and shame people. But if, was, if he is hiding those sensitive information, he is having people who, we are all around for a regime change, I think this is something that, that will not uh, yield us any good dividend. We need to start naming and shaming them. And if also he observed the election, let him also come with out a report. But I, 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 I brought it out and we'll no, finish. I've not seen any report. I will send it to you. Salem. Uh, I'm not there again. I will, uh, 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 whatever uh, uh, observer you, you uh, uh, mission you observe, I won't see the report. I will, I will send it to you from this here. This is what we got from the election. I'm going to send it. And, so and, I, and he, he also made mention naming several of the elections. I, I'll tell you, the, the when when we continue to target institutions in this country, it just you are adding <coughs> uh, 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 insult to injury. This is not a time for us to start naming people. This is not a time for us to start casting blame on people. But oh. this is a time for us to sit and dialogue. Why are you not? Why are you not stable? No, Just now I you said I should name. Now you say <laughs> what you are saying is the, the way you are naming. Okay. In the, in the way you are naming okay. Okay. like the Qatar Center as the only had fifteen, and the Qatar Center w w w was actually because the, I know the, they met him for a regime change. You know. All of those things you are just uh, you are adding uh, insult to injury. Okay, okay. So so let me get my back. Okay, let me get my back. Yes. Firstly, I want to inform the public that here is the website of ECSL. I want to tell you that I don't only have 
I am not only have a degree, but I have a first class degree in information technology with distinction, right? In, in, my, um, in my dissertation, I worked. So I know IT, I've worked in the telecom industry. It is not one day, two day. I have IT background. Now, if you delete something from the website, I'll be able to query it and know if you delete it. I want to say what Chad CDI said was lie. The, there was never a time when that so, was deleted. So, so Here the, is the, the website. Let's the, show it so that the public will see. In fact, right now, they have the district totals in the website. Number two, right? The law mandated only for those, you people, to, the APC, to have the IRF form. And they gave them. My brother, people are just. So you are uh, claiming that uh, nothing was deleted? Nothing from the was deleted. What is, you know the problem? Let me tell you the problem here is which website are you uh, actually using? ECSL. Let me tell you. Uh, 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 which are the website? Wait, because I'm, let me I'm see. also open the website here. Wait, look at the report. Look at it. Let me see. Okay, let me. No, you did not. <laughs> I, I, I can give you my phone. You look for my no, phone. No, no, no. Okay, I, let I me tell you something. Okay, so let, give allow me. To, to um, what I've right. noticed is that people are not honest. In Syria, you don't make. You make. I, I lost my bed, but I'm going to. Say, people are not honest in Syria. The law said they should provide the RRF form. They have provided it. They have also placed the, the, the all the data on the internet. You understand? Go and check for yourself. Okay. If you are now saying the police, the ECSL, let me tell you something. The American election that you've seen. Um, uh, Hillary Clinton up to now have not agreed that that election was free and fair. It yeah. was free. No, I know. No, no. Let me tell you. And you said you should not go to best practice. <laughs> you will not stop the, uh, the past. Let me tell you. If you don't have history, you will not have a future. And in law, best practice, the judges make decisions, make on precedence. So precedence is very germane I mean, to every processes in life. We are, I have failed several times, and I will continue to fail. And those precedents that I've set, whether good or bad, is making me to be Joseph Sano. So forget about that. Precedent. The, the real thing is, what I think um, uh, the APC should do, right? Number one, they should realize that this country is bigger than APC and SLPP. Number two, they should realize that when you, they, 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 they should realize that these institutions are our own institution. If the American government respected their own uh, courts and they said the electoral, the election was rigged, but they still, um, 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 uh, um, Obama still moved from there and allowed Donald Trump, and then Joe, Joe Bladen, right? Trump said he rigged the election, but still Joe Bladen, uh, Trump allowed them to to lead. If we are practicing from them, if we are looking at them, we should copy say There should be nobody, no party that should be bigger than our peace. But the difference with that, like when they made their claims, all the areas where the claims were made, they recount everything. Thank so you. why, if you are saying so, we have to do the same, thank you. so why thank that has not they been done They recount here? it. So what happened was that after this whole thing, Different bodies have engaged the, the opposition. And in fact, some of us even asked them, come with your IRF forms. You understand? Let's look at them. You understand? Bring it. If, believe you me, if APC can show at this IRF form, and if we notice, I, Joseph, if I notice that the election was won by APC, believe you me, I prefer to go to jail. I will rise and defend their result. <laughs> but you have failed to do that. What is happening is that... What people want to, let me tell you, before the elections, these people were on a mission. In fact, they did not copy, okay. they did not campaign. What they were doing was just creating tension, undermining process, inciting violence, creating tribal divides, and this was not good. Okay. So they so, forget about their mere so, cause so let me and just the engagement. Uh, uh, no, they Sano, want I'm to coming. continue in, in, this, in this region. All right, let, let, me just, let me just, because the time, Ali, time is, I'm yes. coming, I'm coming, before you, you come. Let me just take like two messages from the Facebook page and I'll give you time to wrap up because uh, time is not on our side. I know this is an interesting conversation. And uh, from Didan Sankor, He's saying, how can a whole political party say the elections were rigged and that they have RR farms 
to prove that, and yet they cannot go to court or even send out a detailed report with figures in the RR, uh, F, RR farms to show the world that they won the election. The APC is so dishonest and disingenuous, and their uh, gullible supporters have been taken advantage of by APC. This kind of act by APC is a great device to themselves and to the nation as a whole. And Victor Fodi is saying, uh, can Mr. Sano uh, tell the nation how many institutions that were part of the regime change? And what did he say to them about such plans? So uh, first, Fodi, and you give your part in short after uh, whatever you wanted to respond to him and uh, with regards to the uh, messages. Yes. You uh, have two minutes. Yes, I, I have two minutes. And I think uh, the APC party have their leadership, so they will definitely comment on why they are having their um, um, uh, data. I, I, I am not here to represent them, or either I'm here to speak on their behalf. No, this is just so, a message. It's uh, not to you. Yes. Um, 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 you know, this issue in Sierra Leone, for me, just like what I said earlier, that we are hoping we are um, um, that um, this particular dialogue will actually come to pass and mm -hmm. um, we'll have a unified Sierra Leone. We have a Sierra Leone that is united, wherein members of the opposition can also participate in governance. Because um, this particular point, um, political impasse in the country, has negative implications in the country that most people don't know. Most people don't know that some of these things that, that are happening currently are because of what is happening. You know, and um, uh, we, 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 we also, we are the uh, Sierra Leone is about, uh, I would say, although like they, they are slowing it down. The 30 MCC, seconds. You know, <laughs> we are talking about a, a million dollar projects here. Mm -hmm. And if we have uh, uh, the APC and SAPP coming together and um, uh, let's say for instance now the, the US government say, okay, we'll actually give you the MCC for, for you to implement. A, a lot of other sectors will improve. Electricity will be improved or, or other sectors again will actually be, this phone will be used to improve those sectors. All right. So Thank you so much. The, the, the power of unity and everything. So in, in, in rounding up, in rounding up, <laughs> I am calling on the APC and the government of Sierra Leone to ensure that they have a meaningful dialogue. Okay. A dialogue wherein we're able to address this uh, 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 current political impasse. All right. The APC, swallow your bitterness and, and ensure that you take a decision that reflects the, the, the people of this particular Thank country. you so much. Then I know you have two minutes. Okay. okay. First, um, I have evidence and witnesses when I talk. Okay. And I want to inform the public that I have... Hell, in fact, during the time the election was going on, I, I talked to Peace Commission. I, I used their platform to ensure I had a press conference on happening of the elections. So what I want to say is that, number one, if this government, I want dialogue, but the reason for the dialogue is what I want to understand, to have peace. But I want to tell you, if this government, I'm, I'm, I will bite anybody again, I will bite with my life. No matter the amount of dialogue that Samora Kamara and the APC will go into with President Bio, hmm? believe you me, after that dialogue, when they come, they will still, they will only go to parliament, eh? but they will still there be undermining, be inciting. That's a claim. No, I know, because you know how many times they have met? You have one minute. The other thing is, <laughs> the other thing is, I want people to know that no wonder people don't want us to go to school, our children to be educated. They want to be, be playing with the mind of our people, our young. I want to clearly state that this election was free, fair, and credible, right? And I want to say, Samura Kamara, Samura Kamara in general, I'm going to be, and his team are just about to continue to make trouble because he promised that if I don't become president, I'll make trouble and continue with blackmailing black lies and are against law and order because they don't respect our institution and against development and peaceful coexistence. All right, that thank, you, thank you, thank you, so, thank you. So, thank you. Thank you. So these are all claims, but thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Uh, Joseph Sano and Fodi uh, Oemba. Uh, thank you so much. For, so viewers, this is where we cut down the front page today. And thank you for following. I know today has been a very interesting discussion. And uh, 
Thank you, Mr. Paulo Ross, here on to tomorrow at 11 o'clock. And for those of you that sent in your message that we haven't been able to read, we want to say we're sorry. So thank you so much and do have a wonderful day.